prepares to roll out the first round of COVID-19 vaccines, the state will have to prioritize who gets it first. Pending approval in coming weeks, Governor DeSantis expects to have 2 million doses ready to go by the end of the year. Now, healthcare workers will be one of the top priorities, but turns out not everyone who works with patients falls into that category. That's what 8 on your side investigative reporter Victoria Price is digging into tonight. She joins us now live in studio. So as we know, paramedics, they treat COVID patients. In some cases, they're even the first medical professionals that they come into contact with. However, they're classified as first responders, not healthcare workers, meaning they'll be second, perhaps even third in line for the vaccine. The paramedics and EMTs of Tampa Fire Rescue spend every day on the front line of the pandemic. We respond. We pick up, we treat the patients, we transport the patients to the hospitals. But they're not in the front of the line for the COVID-19 vaccine. So we've had to set priorities. And nursing homes will be the top priority, followed by health care workers, Governor Ron DeSantis announced this week. The CDC also recommends vaccinating health care workers and those in long-term care facilities first. But despite providing medical care, EMTs are considered essential workers, not health care workers, meaning they'll likely have to wait for a second or even third round of vaccines. The International Association of Firefighters urging governors and state leaders to classify firefighters and EMS personnel as a top tier priority. This letter describes those workers as the first link in the COVID-19 response treating and transporting patients, not to mention the risk of exposure during other emergencies. We don't have the opportunity to screen people prior to just rushing in. What is the domino effect within your organization if even just one person is exposed? Well, it can be very severe. Tampa Fire Rescue Assistant Chief Mark Bogish says COVID exposures and infections have at times forced entire firehouses into quarantine, leaving other firefighters and medics working overtime to pick up the slack. I would like to see the firefighters of Tampa Fire Rescue protected as soon as they possibly can. But I know not everybody can get the vaccine at the same time. Now, the CDC recommendations are just that. They're just recommendations. States can ultimately decide how they roll out the vaccine. I have reached out to the governor's office to see if they'll consider paramedics, health care workers during vaccine distribution. We are still waiting to hear back on that. So as things stand now, when might, might paramedics and other first responders get access to this, this vaccine? So we don't have a ton of clarity on that right now, and the governor did not specifically address that group medics EMTs during his update yesterday but he did pinpoint February as a good time frame for when they expect to have another round of doses made available sort of that second wave of doses if you will around mm -hmm. February um, and we do know that based on those guidelines first responders including paramedics should be in that second wave of vaccinations. Mm -hmm. All right.